the title of this writing is Creativity, the Common Well. We all create something every day, whether it's a creation that benefits mankind or just plain ill will. The creative spark comes from the same source. We may consider our creations paltry or say we have none at all. That's just not accurate. If you're a living, breathing, thinking human being, you create. Most of our creations come through the filter of conditioning, making them recreations. Most often, we're like the bored stage actor doing Hamlet for the 735th time. We keep parroting the same lines. Sometimes we break out of our predictable patterns and put a new twist on an old dance step. That's creativity seeping under the door. Creativity is neither good nor bad. It's like Switzerland. It's neutral. The question is, how do you use it? You can use electricity to light a city or electrocute yourself. The source is never accountable for its use. We are. Are you using this commonly available resource to recreate yesterday and turn it into tomorrow, or are you open to creating something new? No one has more creativity than you. At the beginning of this game of life, we're all given the same amount of monopoly money. How well we use it determines the quality of our creations. Using creativity to create something new begins with knowing we have unfettered access to it. The only thing that stands in our way are the canals we've dug to channel it to the same place every time. So how do we get our creativity to flow in a new direction? For starters, notice the direction it's flowing now. We get so used to living on automatic pilot that we don't see that we've created the life we're living. Once you notice that you're the creator rather than the victim, that's when you are at the doorstep of creating something new. The old expression of when you find yourself in a hole, stop digging, comes to mind. That means to notice where you are and also notice that you've taken part in the digging. These are the beginning steps of reconditioning. Once you've noticed and taken responsibility as to where you are, you've made a space for creativity and it begins to flow in. Instead of poor me being the foundation of your life, the act of noticing transforms it into a creative command called P-O-U-R, me, and a new foundation begins to pour. The active ingredient that comes out of becoming aware is creativity. The eye-opening piece is that we've created the life we have. The transformational piece is to acknowledge that. That's when you begin using your allotment of creativity to renew rather than redo. All the best, John.